Hello and welcome everyone. We are so glad to have you with us today. We're going to be talking about boredom. So what is boredom? Like most things in life, boredom comes in different forms and its importance varies from person to person. For some, it can be a mere nuisance, while for others, it presents itself as a daunting obstacle. So during this event, you will want something to capture notes with, whether it's a pen and paper or a trusted electronic device, unless you're driving. <laughs> that guy, you so, said that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we do have someone who's driving. So if you're driving, just, you know. <laughs> Men mental notes will suffice. <laughs> yes, mental notes will suffice. Yeah, absolutely. In virtually every area of our lives, we experience boredom at some point, and it can come from having too little to do or too much to do. And sometimes it comes from making a bad choice. Sometimes it comes from not having choices at all. It can result in frustration and exhaustion, or it can bring clarity and relief. But if you find yourself in boredom today or any other day, know that you're not alone because we've all been there. Boredom is maybe a not so popular word, but it is a well-known feeling. Almost everybody has experienced it and pretty much everybody can remember how they were bored and on many occasions, how they were bored in many occasions of our lives. So today we want you to let yourself off the hook by recognizing that feeling bored is a natural part of life and it's not something to beat yourself up about. So what is boredom for you? Is it a lack of interest in activities? Unable to stay interested for more than brief periods of time? Are you unable to rest or relax? Perhaps it's not being able to feel excitement or no feeling of excitement, a, a difficulty staying motivated, or maybe it's something else. Type the number in the chat, unless you're driving, <laughs> for which one applies for you right now. And if it's number six, if it's something else, please take the time to tell us what boredom is for you. Unable to rest or relax. Yeah. That's a familiar one. Mm -hmm. Difficulty staying motivated. Recognize that one too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gino, the same. Rest or relax. Amanda, difficulty staying motivated. It's very, very common. Yeah, fabulous. Thank you for sharing. You can have multiple ones. Yeah, you're allowed, you're allowed <laughs> to have them all if you want to. Because <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. For me, it's number three and uh, number five. Okay, thank you. So where are you experiencing boredom? Think about different areas of your life and where you might have or be experiencing boredom. Think about and list your experiences of being bored. What are they? Type in the chat what comes up for you, what comes to mind. So what drives you into being bored? Which area of your life is driving it the most? And it's fine if you're not sure. This is all about mm, exploring. So yeah. we'll give you some examples. Exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are people triggering boredom for you? And if so, who are they? In terms of your health, maybe you have the same diet, the same exercise routine, frustration with things. Maybe you've hit that plateau. If you think about your intellectual, maybe nothing interests you right now, or there's too much information. I've been hearing that a lot. Yeah. It's too hard. It's too complex. I heard that a lot recently too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or not stimulating enough. And maybe it's emotionally that you feel apathetic, not caring or not cared for or loved. 
or feeling disconnected or even scattered. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's, Morris just said, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And in terms of your character, who you are, maybe it's a lack of motivation or self-discipline. Or maybe your personal values or self-worth or your confidence are driving that boredom. Unable to stay interested for more than brief periods of time. If you look at the spiritual category or spiritually, maybe you're feeling disconnected, closed off. You're having challenges with trust and faith. Maybe it's too hard. And then, of course, we've got beliefs. Mm. In terms of the love category, maybe there's nothing new, no stimulation. It's the same old, same old. Maybe there's differing needs with your partner. You're feeling lost, lacking, lonely. And this can apply to self-love as well as couples. Mm. And on the parenting front, if you've got children, maybe you're just tired of taking care of the kids or having to come up with ideas and things to do. It can be damn right boring sometimes. Or, you know, maybe you're just not getting stimulated by what you're doing with the children. And social connections, perhaps they're lackluster conversations and they're just uninspiring too. Maybe your quality of life is not what you expected. If you look at your vision, has it gotten to a place where you feel like you have no direction, no vision? It feels sort of aimless. Maybe you're not sure what you're meant to do. In terms of a purpose, is there a lack of value, whether it's creating value, giving value, receiving value? Maybe there's a sense of not knowing. There's no understanding. You're constantly asking, why am I here? (laughs) Or there's a lack of interest in activities. All or some of these can lead to boredom. Yeah. So how do you feel when you are bored? If we break this down to mind, body, and spirit, boredom is a state of mind and getting bored could be when we can't deal with our repetitive thought pattern Mm. or perhaps our dopamine levels are running low. Spiritually, we may be feeling a void through a lack of experiences that fill our soul. And we might experience one or several of those that are listed on the slides. So for those driving, it's stuck, lethargy, overwhelmed, lifeless, exhausted, irritated, apathetic, helpless, anxious. How do you feel when you're bored? Type that in the chat. What's the feeling that runs through your body, through your mind, your spirit? Maybe something else. Sometimes lethargy, yeah, lethargic. Mm -hmm. Self-pity. Restless. Tired, sluggish, restless distracted, unfocused, mundane, Mm -hmm. yeah, uncomfortable, love that, I don't love being uncomfortable, but I love that (laughs) answer, (laughs) stuck certainly, lifeless, unfocused, absolutely, it's all about recognizing how they're making you feel, I think you skipped one, Heidi. Have I? Yeah, because you were going to talk about your boredom. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Yeah, sorry. So my own boredom. Your boredom correlate with. (laughs) Yeah, okay. (laughs) My boredom, interestingly, correlates with having too much to do. I start getting overwhelmed. I start overthinking. I end up in a repetitive thought pattern, and then I get exhausted. That creates boredom for me. And I also get bored when I'm reading and the words aren't stimulating or inspiring me in some way. Or I get to the end and I realise I've learnt nothing. Or I've learnt nothing new. So why is it we actually carry on to the end of the book that's boring us? Well, usually it's because we are taught to finish that book 
And I have since given myself permission to not finish books. And heaven help you if you're an author <laughs> and you write a series that gives me filler because I will stop. And there are multiple series I just will not finish because of filler. So that mm -hmm. is one of the things that uh, attributes to my boredom. I also get bored when I'm stuck in the same routine and I can't or don't, usually it's I don't, or I'm in need of shifting the pattern. And when I get comfortable, if there's too many things I have to do and I don't want to do. And then of course, uh, I get bored when people bring up the same issues time and time and time and time again, and they do nothing to move themselves forward. I'd better not do that to you, Danny, or our events might not run so well. <laughs> That'll be funny. Uh... So what keeps you from leaving this state of boredom? Think about what are you resisting? Is it a fear of change or doing something new? Is it better to do what you've always done, even though it bores you to tears? When we're when we do what we've always done, it's comfortable. We know it. Mm -hmm. So share what keeps you in boredom in the chat. In the chat. Why do you stay there? Yeah, why do you stay in boredom? I'm glad to see I'm not the only one who has many books that they've never finished. Yeah, yeah, I've got a few of those <laughs> as well. I have to say, I've also got books I've never even started. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That'd be something to sit so with. Is that, yeah, is that because I'm bored or is it because of other reasons that I want to explore? Mm -hmm. mm. So we've got difficulty getting out of the whole fear of what's on the other side. Not knowing how to change a situation, staying in the comfort zone. We did this session on comfort zone. Go back and watch that replay if you haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. It's scary. Or it was uh, wanting to stay in this place still because outside of work, it's exciting. Mm. That's really interesting. It's scary to do something different. I might not get the outcome I want. So I'd rather, st I'm afraid it may trigger attention from unwanted people or a bad reaction. Mm -hmm. mm, not knowing what to do. Mm -hmm. Self-employed, always used to work seven days a week. Now my life is balanced, but relaxed and still feels unnatural. I don't want, I don't look forward to it. Interesting. These are wow. great. These are fantastic. So now we're going to tweak it a bit. What are the benefits of boredom for you? Yeah. And one of them we covered. Does it give you time to do nothing? Time to think. Does it keep you safe or something else? Perhaps if you are staying in a place that is boring, it will make outside of that space exciting, as yeah. was mentioned. So yeah. share in the chat. What are the benefits of boredom for you? It's always a good side. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that boredom can give me inspiration right there with you. Yeah. Change. I know for me, when I'm bored, you pay the bills right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keeps you safe. Keeps perseverance. you safe. Mm. Perseverance. Yeah. For me, the benefits are when I get stuck. And then I get bored and then it's like, oh, it's time to change. Yeah. But that period of boredom is just, to me, is like a, a space. Mm -hmm. It's a space where I can just be and, and think. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a think time, mm -hmm. think space. So what signs? Uh, for, for me, I think it drives me to want to do something. I start planning, creating uh, things. And, ah, uh, Drawing up visions for myself. Fantastic. Yeah. So it's allowing creativity. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. So what signs do you get before and during the period of boredom? Do you get agitation? Do you get heightened emotion? Something else? Because boredom is a warning sign. It's actually a warning sign for you to do more. So share in the chat, what signs do you get? 
what feelings do you get that boredom's coming because your brain wants you to do something it needs it it's about changing and stepping out of your comfort zone perhaps we've talked about that before mm -hmm. but what's that trigger sign that says i'm hitting boredom or i'm in boredom how do you know that that's where you are frustration anxiety mm. Mm -hmm. Irritation, dread, judgmental of self and others, drift, mind drifting, anxiety. Yeah. Oh, physically, my gut deteriorates. Mm. Yep. Not being able to move forward, sink back into the hole. Mm -hmm. I get restless. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, me too. I start to get that feeling of restless. Yeah, Amanda said the same. Mm -hmm. I just get restless and I think I need to do something now, but I don't know what it is I want to do. And then you start <laughs> going to this headless chicken mode. <laughs> oh. Can yeah. I identify with that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then you get annoyed with yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brilliant. So what will it take to shift your mind, body, and your spirit to shift from that boredom? Having meaning, a purpose, and fulfillment to channel your energy is one way to drive the shift. You know, your why. Are there different ways that one can combat the experience of boredom? So take a moment to type in the chat what you do to shift your mind, body, and spirit, all or one, when you are feeling, when you notice that feeling of boredom. You're about to go there or you're there and you're going to shift yourself back out. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, when I feel stuck, when I, when I notice that stuckness or that irritation, I immediately ask myself, how can I change my thoughts around this? Mm -hmm. So if I'm feeling stuck, my question becomes, how do I get unstuck? I like that. Something to laugh about. It is a great pattern interrupt. Mm -hmm. Read my life vision. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I go and grab a two-year-old granddaughter and get on the rebounder. Because <laughs> 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 at least I <laughs> yeah. get some movement going. Mm -hmm. that, absolutely, Mary. Start to move, work out walking, do anything with movement. Yep. Brilliant. Love it. So look at what needs attention in your life. How can you make it a priority to get out there and see what is happening or not happening for you? What are some action steps you could put in place now to move forward on what matters most that's actually going to prevent that boredom? Here's an interesting thought. Boredom can actually trigger us to be creative, possibly even start a business. Mm can drive you to huge momentum mm -hmm. i can see marit laughing there mm. i wonder <laughs> i wonder what that's triggered in your mind uh, uh, if i can comment um mm. i think i think for me i don't know whether it's a negative things i think i get too involved in so many things that uh, after some time i get burnout. out yeah. Uh, so I try to do a lot of things. I try to take in so many things. And uh, after a while, I just feel so tired again. I feel bored again. So okay. it, it becomes like a cycle. <laughs> yes. So we did it. We actually did an event on overwhelm. That would be worthwhile you watching that one. Because taking on too much is equally a pattern that needs to be disrupted. So again, look at what needs attention in your life you said that you're doing lots of things what out of those things could you make a priority and then what action steps can you put in place to move that forward what matters most out of all of those things so that's about focus that's about i've got all of these things i'm doing now let me focus my attention on what really matters for me. Funnel it down. Absolutely, Mara. It's about funnel. Mm -hmm. Put it all through the funnel and what's the most important. Let that one come out. And then put your attention there. Okay. All right. So 
my favorite topic. Let's get inspired. So we've talked about boredom and let's now start by giving thanks, having gratitude for the period of boredom mm. because boredom was on your side. So what have you learned from your boredom? Let's explore. So what ideas came up for you during that space that boredom gave you? What did you go on to create? Share your ideas in the chat. Share what's come up for you. What have you created that's come out of the other end of that boredom? It spurred you on to do something. Perhaps you created meaning and got on with what or how you want to feel. Maybe you defined your purpose, what you want or need to do and why you want to do it. Or you channeled your energy by refocusing or focusing your attention so that your energy goes where you want it to. Oh, and maybe you found ways to remove distractions. Maybe you reframed your thinking around what really created your boredom. So what are the real facts about that? And how would it raise your self-belief? I'd like to think that you found more creative ways to express yourself and even adapt when needed. So share your ideas in your chat, in the chat. Yeah, for me, I left my job. Uh, I quit in, in March this year, after 16 years of working with that. Uh, I, I just decided that uh, I'm, I'm done and I left. So. Brilliant. Nice. So we've got daily meditation with a good action step. Learning that it's time to shift. Do watercolor painting still. Yes, you can. Mm, and that allowed you... From Oh, go ahead. <laughs> and it allowed me to reinvigorate my passion for when, when you were a child. That's fantastic. And now two years later, you've grown into a business. Look what comes out of being bored at sometimes. Mm -hmm. It inspires you. Shifting gears, falling to leading, starting a podcast, recording 45 episodes. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Become aware that boredom is a thing, so it created awareness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what about your personal fulfillment recipe? You've now know what created your boredom. So you can put it away in a glass jar, seal it tight with a tight lid, Put it at the back of your cupboard and don't take it out unless it's absolutely needed. If you really need a period of boredom, then go get it. <laughs> but don't keep it out. Tuck it away. So let's talk about what are your new ingredients? What are your ingredients for inspiration and action? So mine are, I go for a walk and I take photos of nature. I write poetry. I'll watch, listen, or read something inspirational. I'll listen to music that moves me, whether it be dancing or via my imagination. Meditation obviously is a go-to and creating something, whether it be a painting, a piece of art, a poem, a program, or I'll create what's called a journey map. Basically, I put a bunch of words on paper and I connect them all and then I add some art and that's a step in my own personal journey. I can vouch for that because when I visited <laughs> Danny recently, she got me doing one myself. Fabulous experience. My inspiration comes with doing things like cycling. As I cycle, I look at nature and see what it's doing. I think about how I can bring that into my day. And if I can't go out, I'll learn something new. So I'm currently learning Ayurvedic eating. So I've got plenty to do in the kitchen, making new meals, creating and blending masala mixes and learning what herbs and spices are good for health issues, for specific health issues. And now I'm getting my two-year-old granddaughter involved, so that's fun too. 
Because what it also means, it gets me to stop drawing Mr. Potato and Mrs. Carrot <laughs> over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. But about a thousand times, I think we've drawn that so far. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to add that to my boredom list. I should have done that earlier. So, Danny, let's go into some meditation and let's get some inspiration. But equally, if people can share what things that they do in the chat before we just move on. Yeah, let's take a moment for people to yeah. share and then I'll... Yeah. We've got a few on here. Just don't want to miss them. So boredom is about creating awareness. I think we covered that one. Continue thinking of new things to do. Mm -hmm. Go to the beach, sitting, watching the waves. Beautiful. I love doing that too. So calming. Watching the leaves blow and dance down the street. Reading, reading inspiration. an inspirational text. Mm. We're watching an inspirational video. Writing. Writing. <laughs> yeah. Nature, cooking, singing, music. Beautiful. Meditation, movement, music, hike, and ocean. I'm noticing mm. nature is sort of weaving through this. <laughs> yeah. Nature, cooking, singing, music, meditation ocean be surrounded by all nature fantastic <laughs> be ourselves in the natural environment in mm -hmm. nature it's natural cure for many absolutely yeah getting more comfortable with being bored i'm always on the move so it's an important reminder slow down be present mm -hmm. take care yes absolutely yes so actually your trigger then is boredom is a reminder mm-hmm that's what that sounds like for me, reminding yourself. Yeah. These are amazing, fabulous. All okay. right, are we ready to meditate? I think we are. Okay, so at times of our in our lives, we just need a bit of inspiration. And this can show up in a desire for change or a shift, like we've been talking about today. And perhaps you want a bit more joy in your life or you want to change something up or you're feeling lost and in search of direction. Maybe you have become bored with your life with that feeling of overwhelm, that feeling of being stuck. So if that's the case, we have created this meditation for you. And as always, I like to recommend having a journal nearby so that you can record the experience. Now, this time we're gonna do something a little different. So before we <laughs> meditate, we're gonna do a movement with our bodies. Now, if you're in the car, just breathe. <laughs> <laughs> or imagine doing this movement in your head, but we're gonna inhale and raise your, heart, your arms up above your head. So breathe up, bring your palms together. And as you exhale, bring your hands down in front of your heart and press those palms and fingers close together. We're gonna to do this again, inhale up, bring your palms together, exhale, push the palms and fingers together and bring it in front of your heart. Once more, inhale, arms up, bring those palms together, exhale, down to the heart and slowly roll your shoulders. You wanna roll them forward three times, two, three, and then roll them back three times. One, two, three. And whether you are sitting or standing, this is probably gonna be hard to see. So just, you wanna raise your knee as high as you can, if you can bring it up and point your toe. Just point your toe a couple times. And then put that leg down and bring the other leg, the other knee up and pull it towards you and point your toes just to sort of get movement down there. And then settle into your seat, inhale, exhale, breathe out. And close your eyes. Connect with the center of your body. Feel yourself breathing. Give thanks for the lungs that distribute the oxygen. 
Give thanks for the blood that flows through your body, delivering nutrients along its journey. And give thanks for this present moment. Imagine going deep within your core, and connect with your center. With each breath, feel yourself connecting with the part of you that grounds you, that calms you, that centers you. And just keep breathing, inhale. Exhale. Now imagine within this center of you, there is a small spark of light. Connect with this light. What does it feel like? What does it look like? Does it have a color? This light is your inspiration. Let us nurture this spark of light so that it grows. What can you add to this spark within you? What is something you truly desire? Imagine it, connect with it, and add it to the light of that spark within you. Inhale, exhale, feel. Notice, be aware. What is something you've always wanted to do, but have yet to do? Imagine reaching out for it by, beyond time and space, pulling it back to you to add its energy to your spark. Feel that spark growing into energy and notice its color. Notice how you feel. Notice whether it shifts. Think of who you want to be. Imagine, let your imagination see yourself. Connect with what you want to feel here taste and smell with what you want to see. Engage all of your senses if you can. Who you want to be. Let that energy be drawn in and added to the energy of inspiration within you. Feel it swirling. Feel your inspiration growing, filling you up. And continue to think about what do you want to do? What actions do you want to take to be who you want to be, to get what you desire? Activities that interest and inspire you. Activities that are just fun. Imagine pulling all of the energy and feelings together within you until you are full up and beyond. Inhale, feel your inspiration grow. Exhale, feel it grow beyond you. Now take a moment to focus on how you are feeling right now in this moment. What word comes up for you? Is there a color or something else connected to it? Let yourself sit and be. Let yourself connect. Experience it. Imagine this energy is swirling within you and beyond you. Can you see any shapes, items, objects? People, let whatever needs to surface, surface. And let that feeling build, let that feeling build and flow throughout you. Inhale, connect. Exhale, expand. Inhale, connect. 
Exhale, expand. Inhale, connect. Exhale and feel it expand. Take a moment to place both hands on your heart and feel gratitude for the inspiration within you. What is one thing you can do over the next five days or few days to encourage this feeling of inspiration? Whether it is to repeat this meditation or take an action towards something you truly desire, take a moment to connect with the next step. Breathe it all in. When you are ready, wiggle your toes and your fingers. Let your body sway side to side. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale. Exhale. When you're ready, gently open your eyes and take another breath. Take a few moments to jot down some notes if you want to or share them in our chat. And we hope you enjoy this meditation and that it leads to having a wonderful day. Thank you. Well, I went to India. Really? And I could actually smell all the spices and the vibrancy of colors and the people and the inspiration that gave me for actually learning even more. I hadn't ever even thought of that until now. That's awesome. I need to go now <laughs> into my kitchen, get my spice pots out. That's what I need to smell right now. I'm going to start cooking again. <laughs> so that's my action for the next five days is create more recipes. I love it. Yeah, brilliant. Download what you need to know for your website. So we have, if you want to view any of our past um, courses, videos, and the meditations are separate, we have a YouTube channel. And yeah. I, will I will put that in the chat. And chat. The, the med this meditation is already on there. Mm-hmm. So this takes you to our main channel and I, the I was going I was going to ask Marit what was the clause in the thigh which part of the meditation enabled that <laughs> <laughs> what idea came up with that but I've realized it was the cat <laughs> Kirsten's going to go to India with me absolutely <laughs> fantastic I'm sure we've got some life bookers over there that could help us out yeah mm, that'd be amazing I'm actually quite jealous my daughter went there as a child and I've never been so but I wasn't interested in going and now I am that's interesting awesome drop into heart center from my head into heart Marit one of the visions in meditation it looks like we're all going to India see you all there <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Meet up in India. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say I can see some of your artwork on saris. Just going to say that, put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Finding things that inspire you can be easier than you think. Just take a look around at what's around you. Switch off the boredom for a moment and tune in to your own inspiring mind. It was born to create. 
it loves to create. Give it the freedom. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have any questions, additional thoughts, shares, or indeed feedback? We love feedback. Mm -hmm. Mm. Turn it around. And the more you practice, the more you'll do it. The mm -hmm. quicker you'll get. So who's, you can who's, turn so who's bored? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that's one of the things too, you know, in this event, we have turned boredom around. You know, we've given boredom a new awareness of it. Yeah. You know, we've, we've helped to shift your perception and you can shift your perception mm -hmm. on many things. You can use, we talked about boredom today, but what if you looked at other things in your life yeah. I and mean, how can you shift them? I mean, I do this all the time. I've been doing it since Gen C was diagnosed with poem syndrome. Mm -hmm. It's a way to look at your life through a different lens. Yes. And to find the the gifts and to find how can you tweak this? How can you use this to your advantage? You know, mm -hmm. what if it was happening for you yeah. instead of to you? If you yeah. shift that, you will your mind will start looking for different things in different ways and 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 inspirations and it will empower you. Yeah. It's almost that I'm bored. What next? Mm -hmm. What now? What now? Mm -hmm. What now? What am I gonna do now? Yep. Apart from going and listen to Danny's meditation to get the inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Fabulous. So we do have, as Danny said, our recordings, meditations, they're all on our YouTube channel. And we also have a Facebook group, Facebook site where you can join us. And all this information will be on the recording of this call, which will be up mm -hmm. over the weekend. And you'll be able to find the recording of this on our YouTube channel as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. 